All right, so I'm out of here at home. I gotta go home. Oh, uh, so my lawyer, uh, I, I can't even speak. My lawyer, she's trying to create like a mantra for the hospital so she can get the image that she need. The, the, the papers is at my house. Like I gotta go home, get my discharge papers and look for the numbers so she can do it. So I call her back from that. And um, I call the people about seeing if I can get a, uh, you know, went for my supplement she said they don't do that unless you need to go to like uh the car practice or something you gotta pay for it and yeah that, 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 that. and <laughs> she asked me was it was an insurance payment i told her yeah but uh see i'm talking real fast y'all but i said yeah but um i had to use it some camera had to use it so she was like oh okay she said but yeah so like can't do that so then i called the people about the car i told them what's going on and guy was like like yeah he was like um basically like you know he, he said basically you know when you come in just uh you know give her the keys and you're good because i told him that yeah, i said i got the damage wave he said he said oh yeah he said, said he said okay so you're good he was like like yeah he said that he said that thing cover you up to like a total loss i'm like oh okay i'll tell him that the guy um the guy who gave me the car he was basically telling he, he kept asking he asked about three or four times he was like you sure you don't want it you're like, you know, ain't, ain't, no, ain't no wrong with having it. I was contemplating getting it. Excuse me, good thing I got it. So, you know, but yeah, so. But at first, before I told him how to damn play, but he was like, well, you can come in, you gotta take a look at it, you know, see how it is or whatever, whatever. But I told him, goddamn, like, he's like, oh, okay, you good. So, so all right, okay, cool. So, you know, everything good. And uh, so, she gotta drop out these two things. She got another one, right? But I'm tired of a minute, cause hold on, put the seatbelt on. Okay, so she she got two, right? She got to drive out today, but uh, she got another one because y'all remember I was telling you yesterday about the person council, right? So she got another one, right? And what well, they gave it to her, she said that they felt sorry pretty much, and they gave it to her, right? So, hold on, I'm trying to get over. So, but uh, it, it's it's about 30, 30 something minutes away, right? And she was basically saying that uh call the people back to extend it and i was telling her, i was like nah because i don't want you to use that you know when you're trying to use it for something else right and she and i didn't know this though that she was already doing it she was already using that that she needed for something else she was, she was using that for me and her and i was like why and i asked her about i was asking her like the stuff i sent her i was like did it hit your account she was like yeah that's what i've been using and that's why i was gonna use that for something else so i was like okay but then, you know, I was like, I need to, to me personally, I was like, that I don't have the money to extend it, right? You know, I don't, you know, cause, cause my account right now, trash, right? It's just trash, so we keep it real trash. So, you know, but I was like, yeah, I'm gonna uh, just get a car back, you know, because like I tell y'all, I was telling y'all a couple days ago, like, this car's already faulty, you know, it's, it's crazy, you know, and then that happens to the car too. I just want to go ahead and just, just, get it off of me man you know what i'm saying just get it off of me so but she, so she was like that we can it's 11 o'clock now she was like basically um that she can uh probably pick it up but she don't know how she gonna return it and i was and i was asking her you know do she got somebody else and then she was like nah whatever you know so i was like i don't know then you know she wanted me to extend it but it's like that's putting you in the bind more you know by extending that because that's more money she like that she can get it back i was like yeah but you know it's like you're getting it back just as just to start back in the same place you know what i'm saying and so i don't know but i was i was actually trying to tell her that you know she might have to cancel it but she don't want to cancel it because it's gonna ding her for it you know so i don't know man I don't know. Then she she was bitching about these other things about doing it, you know. And I was like, she said that she, she can't get that, but then you know, me and her are gonna have to do this and do that just so she, she can get it. But she already need to to pay something, you know. That's really need to be paid now. So I, like me personally, I don't want her to to go back, you know what I'm saying? And she kind of understand that because you know she's seeing it as transportation. Yeah, I see that, but I don't want to put us in a bind by doing that you know even more so i don't know man but i'm trying to get to the house all right let's make it to the house
So we're done here. And um, how you doing? I'm going here. And get my discharge paper. Look at it. Call my uh, case manager back. What you gonna do? What you gotta do? So we're gonna get this process going. And I might as well just take a shower and stuff. And just I'll just stay here until she says she's ready. So what time is it? I'm watching the house. So we'll catch y'all in a minute. All right. So I just got off the phone with my case manager. So I gave it to her, and for some reason, these people want to put these people put the wrong date of birth. They put <laughs> eleven twelve to eleven twenty one. It's crazy. But anyway, so um, for some reason, she still couldn't do it. So. She she told me just email them just in French. She she told me to email them and they gonna get email me back. So, uh, so we just waiting for that, you know. Then I guess after they email me back, then I just um just call her back and then just tell her. So, boy, that girl park <laughs> double park in again. No, you in the push or stop? Nah, not just fine. Uh, but anyway, um, so. I'm gonna text my girl to tell her, just let me know when she's ready. What time is it? I keep saying what time is it. Hold on, let's see what time is it. It's 1126. All right. I got Brandon Carver about four o'clock. So, all right, cool. Hey, y'all, check it out. So, <laughs> this is crazy, right? So, I'll tell y'all that my girl got dropped out of this stuff, you know, whatever, and I got Brandon Carver by four o'clock, right? I told her yesterday that I wasn't gonna be able to do it, right? Because you know, the car messed up. I wanted to give give it back, you know, and I won't have the money to, right? She claimed, oh, if I would have kept on working that night, this and that. I told her this, right? Even if I would have kept on working and extended it till, say, Saturday, right? I wasn't going to ever do it no more because the stuff that was coming out of my account, the stuff that I got to help me uh, pay stuff, it came out of my account, right? And I ain't been working, like, to, to really put it back in there so, like, it won't be able to affect me. So, she already knew this, right? And she still didn't listen. So, we get back to her house or whatever. I told her, I said, look, um, just just start when you get done, you know, so we can bring this stuff back so you can get your money so I can bring the car back, right? Thinking of her, whatever, right? She said, okay, get to her house. She don't even do it. You know, I, tell, I said, you started with, I was telling you, you started on this, she was like, nah, and then she started on, she was watching her, okay, she claimed that she was going to stay up, whatever, she didn't, she was going to bed, she said she was going to set alarm at 6, she didn't set alarm at 6, okay, so, here it comes, now, she still already know, last night, she asked to see if I could extend it, to try to do it, I couldn't do it, okay, whatever, I couldn't change the car, whatever, right, okay, so, she told me that I should never call the people about the car, what you mean? Like, why would I extend the Why would I extend the car, knowing that if I keep extending the car, how's it helping us? When I ain't got that much money in my account anyway, so like, how's it helping us? Do Uber Eats and DoorDash? I'm barely making money, bro. I'm barely making money, and then I need money to put gas in my gas in the car to keep going. Okay, so. Here she is now. I told her, I said, well, you got to be done by 1.30 so I can take you because it takes a while to drop both of them off and then I got to bring the car back, put gas in it, right? Whatever. She said, well, I'm not, I'm not going to be ready. I'm like, okay, well, I can't take you. Now she getting mad at me, talking about some, oh, uh, you leading me, leaving me to the pits. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing or this and that. I'm trying to mess up how she made money. How, how when I told you? How when I told you? I told you yesterday. I communicated. People, please stop saying ask somebody to communicate and you still don't listen. I communicated yesterday clearly. You chose not to get up at six. You said so long. You said it didn't. You chose not to keep working through the night. You chose to do that. If you would have listened to what I would have said, you would have everything been on right now. She she's getting mad at me. How how is it my fault? She said it's my fault. How's it my fault? But I told you, it's not my fault. You don't want to own up to you not listening. You didn't want to listen because you felt as if like, well, if I don't listen, he going to try to stay in the car if I get some more. Why would you try to get some more when I told you I can't do that? Why would you put that much pressure on me? Why? Because you're not listening to me. You want to do what you want to do. 
despite of what I'm telling you, my circumstances. And then she said she could do it. How will you better got money on, on your stuff? Because you're trying to do this. How? As in a bind. How am I leading you wrong when I'm telling you exactly what to do? That's crazy. So I talked to the, what a, the Navy recruiter do, text me back. And he said, yeah, they still recruiting. He said, if I can come in today, I said, no, I can't. I said, I can uh, come in tomorrow. But he didn't say anything yet. So I have to either walk up there. Let's see how can I catch an Uber up there some type of way. No. So. But that's that. Alright, so. I'm gonna take her. About to go pick her up. Take her so she can drop her stuff on her. Then take her back home. So I'm gonna drop this car off. He called. He said. To give her a grace period. But if not, I got Dropbox. So I was just trying to ask. Because I never. Like, just like. The car. Never had that. And happened to it. And also me driving off late. So, you know, she claimed I'm going to be panicking. No, it's just, I never done it. So, I don't want to, you know, get penalized or whatever. You know, that's why I'm asking. I'm asking questions. And for some reason, it's like, to her, it's bad that I'm trying to call to figure out what's going on. I don't understand that. But I'm going to catch y'all in a minute. Staring all at me and stuff, man. <laughs> like, God. Hopefully, she got everything ready. Because she just asked me if I'm on the way. So, catch y'all in a minute. If I say this, but the recruiter responded back and uh, said that they couldn't do it today. Well, he asked for coming. That's how I couldn't. That's about tomorrow. He said, that's going to be in. They can do it for Monday at 10. So, you know, I think I said this already. But, oh well. If not, I'm gonna have to catch an Uber. Phone. Hopefully, I find a way to get some money. Um, well, I'm going to find a way to get some money so I can. Uh, or I just go out the walk. Left my wallet on too, so we gotta go back there. Go, excuse me, go get it. It is 249, basically 250. I'm just waiting on her to put her shoes on and stuff like that. But she make things difficult for no reason, bro. I swear she do. I swear. <laughs> if she would have listened to me, right, this wouldn't even be a problem. <laughs> but, hey, I'm the easy scapegoat, but you're not listening to me, though. <laughs> but it's my fault. It's my fault. Okay. <laughs> It's my fault, but you're not listening. And get mad that you're not listening. So I'm taking it out on you. Oh, it's your fault. You don't know what you're doing. What? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but I was extending the car rental and going to negative just so you can be able to take those clothes back. I couldn't do it no more, and I ain't want you to jeopardize your money that you, that you got, right? And you get mad. But I already gave it the I already gave the game plan. If you would have followed the game plan, it would have been fine. But no, you wanted to go to bed <laughs> and get up later than a time that you wanted, but you never set an alarm. It's, it, it's, it's just beyond crazy to me, man. Yeah, check it out. So my girl gonna tell me. She talking about some why would me and her got back together? Her life start going down here. What? Again, all this because she's not listening and used me as a scapegoat. Then I told her I gotta go home anyway to back in the car. She's talking about why I've been doing it. 
because I mean, even if I vacuumed it then or not, I mean, I knew it was gonna take your time. You say you won't worry about 130, so what's the point? I mean, I'm just, <laughs> me trying to get there by four, I just don't care. We got in the car at three o'clock, you know? So it's like, why should I care? I don't even care anymore. You know, it is what it is. I just deal with it. I just deal with it, you know? I just deal with it. I mean, it is what it is. But if you would have cared, then yeah, okay, yeah. But guess what? You didn't even care. I was My plan was to do all this, take you back home, go home, vacuum the car, then take it to him. But hey, I had everything planned just like me telling you to do what you had to do yesterday and go over overnight and take you know whatever but no you didn't listen to me so you know again she don't listen she don't listen don't listen and it's so funny she was over here watching something about cardi b saying about offset right <laughs> man she, me, she agree girl she tells me, people don't know what i be putting her through girl <laughs> <laughs> don't know what i put you through you finna fabricate and not tell the whole story on my on my youtube y'all see i keep it real hey so she was in the back i don't know if y'all y'all peed it out she was in the back right <laughs> she was in the back and she was laying she saw she saw me holding the phone and recording right and she gonna cut to the window <laughs> trying to spur it up on some so you so you were talking sh I'm like, huh? What are you talking about? Say so you still over talking shit. I'm like, I don't know what you talking about. Yeah. We show sure it. We keeping it real, though. All right, so I just dropped off. I'm about to go home, uh, take your stuff in the house, back in the car, and throw a little bit more gas in the tank, then drop it off. He's like to do it after an hour or so. I got a box, so I'm going to catch y'all in a minute. All right, so I'm about to go put some little gas in the car, a little bit, a little bit more gas, fill it back up. I gotta put it back on full because okay, it gave me on full. So just vacuum it. So I'm gonna catch y'all in a minute. Y'all wanna know something though? After all that, right? I still make sure my girl dropped off everything she needs to, right? To everybody. And I and I got her me and her some food. For the money I barely had. But you wanna see how this manner of evil about Miss Head this, say that, oh, people know what you put me through, all this, all that. <laughs> again, again. It's crazy, right? Alright, she made it here. Gotta lock it. I got a freaking uh call me an Uber, so I'm gonna catch y'all in a minute. Alright, I got somebody, they coming. Man, the price don't want up, man, because it's kinda busy. Rush hour. I was trying to, I was trying to tell her to come on. I was trying to, you know, not drop it off so late, man. It's freaking crazy. Six o'clock. Catch y'all in a minute. All right, so he just dropped me off. I'm back. <laughs> you know, he missed the turn at first. There's all good, so. Well, I'm Carlos right now. Uh, now it's the operation to figure stuff out. So I can get this money. So I can have money in my account. Get it out of the negative. And, you know, so I'll figure it out. But I'm not going to the house. So I'm going to catch y'all in the morning. <laughs> 